A few months ago, I passed the TensorFlow Developer Certificate exam, and I'd like to share with you how I studied and prepared for it with my sketch notes. Most of the preparation I did was taking the Coursera Specialization by Lawrence Moroni and Dr. Andrew M. There are four courses in this specialization, with four weeks of material for each one. The first course is an introduction. Week one is a very simple intro. Week two teaches you Keras callback, and you will learn how to stop training at a certain percentage of accuracy. Week three is an intro to convolutional neural network, also called CNN, with MNIST data. And week four continues with CNN, and here you will use uh, real-world images called horses or humans. Then we move to the second course to dive deeper on CNN. Week one is binary classification with cats versus dogs datasets. We use binary course entropy loss function. Week two was on image augmentation. Lawrence talked about how to use Keras image data generator. Keep in mind that since TensorFlow 2.3, you can now use Keras image preprocessing and augmentation layers instead. In week three, you will learn about transfer learning with Inception v3 as the pre-trained model. Week four, you will learn about multi-class classification with rock, paper, scissors data. And here you will use categorical cross entropy for training multi-class classification. Course three focuses on NLP. Week one teaches you text sentiment with BBC data. And week two teaches you word embeddings with IMDB reviews data. Week three moves into topic of sequence models. You will explore different neural network architectures with Conv1D, RNN, LSTM, and GRU, etc. In week four, you will learn how to generate Shakespeare text with LSTM. And finally, we move to the fourth course on time series, which was a topic that I wasn't too familiar with. Week one was an intro um, to time series on synthetic data, and you will learn about um, techniques such as moving average. Week two was using DNN on time series. Then week three, you will learn about time series with RNN. You will explore using Lambda layers and LSTM. Week four was time series using some spots data from Kaggle. And here you will again explore different network architecture using Conv1D Lambda layers, LSTM. In this course, you will also learn how to use Keras mean absolute error to measure how well the model is doing. Now let's talk about how to register and take the exam. Even though the Coursera specialization of four courses has 16 weeks of material, it may take you less than 16 weeks or longer, depending on your background. If you're not familiar with deep learning or TensorFlow, most likely you will need to supplement your studying in addition to this Coursera specialization. Once you register, you have six months until the exam, which means you don't need to wait until you finish studying, then register. I registered sometime halfway through the studying when I had a pretty good idea of when I would be ready for the exam. So the day before the exam, I review the candidate handbook and the environment setup PDF files, which I found online on the certificate website and also the exam instructions, which are provided only to registered candidates. You will need to set up a virtual environment for Python, TensorFlow, and PyCharm. The exam will be conducted in PyCharm. While you have been using Jupyter Notebook during the uh, Coursera courses. So if you're not familiar with PyCharm, definitely you should practice PyCharm to familiarize yourself. 
Now it's time for the exam. You will have up to five hours maximum to finish it. You may not need the full five hours, but make sure you do set aside enough time for the exam. If you are interested in learning more details on how I studied and prepared for the exam, check out my blog post on Medium. There are also various other blog posts, excellent blog posts written by the community. I wish you the best luck studying and passing the exam, and I look forward to seeing you joining the TensorFlow developer community.